it um, impossible? Uh, maybe this is a, a question that answers itself, but uh, again, a lot of people are cynical. Is it impossible to be honest and a politician at the same time? Not at all. I mean, at the heart of who I am is my faith, first and foremost. <laughs> And that requires me to be open and transparent and honest. You know, a lot of people say to me, what's it like to be a Christian politician? Mm -hmm. And I say, I don't know, because I'm not. Mm -hmm. I am a politician who's chosen that as a career of service to my community, who is a follower of Christ. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, I don't think God cares what side of the street the sewer line goes on. Yeah. And there are people in my circle, in my church, who disagree with a decision I've made um, on which side of the street to put the sewer line because it probably affected them. But that is not, you know, uh, what my call is. My call is how do I treat people? How do I interact in the community? Do people see me as a person who truly cares and wants to make a difference for good? Um, and I think honesty is at the heart of that, and, and it has to be. And, you know, you, the media loves to tear politicians mm -hmm. apart. Um, and I think what we're called to do as, as believers, whether you're a politician or anything else, is do the best you can and recognize you're still a sinner. Are there temptations uh, for a politician, especially in a position of uh, influence and power like you are, uh, directly, indirectly to... Um, uh, gain benefit uh, financially, uh, if not for the present, for the future? Like, do you have people trying to, you know, uh, twist your arm to make a decision about a zoning uh, decision or whatever, and they're suggesting that if you do, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be glad you did? Well, nobody has ever offered me any kind of a payment or yeah. anything else. Um, yeah. There have been lots of people who have tried to twist my arm, if yeah. you want to use yeah. that term on issues that they find important. But for me, the issue is absolute integrity. Right. The decisions I make, I believe, are in the best interests of my community and the best interests of the people in the community that I serve. The difficulty is, and the reality is, and, and I think you know this, most pastors know this, when you stand up and you're in a leadership position, you better recognize that there are going to be people who disagree with you. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just because I am a believer doesn't mean that every other believer is going to agree with everything that I've done. And I don't expect that, no. especially in the circle of decisions. Tell me about Langley. We've got about three minutes left. Uh, brag on your city a little bit. Well, we've got a great community. I mean, we're four square miles, 10 square kilometers in size, 26,000 people surrounded by the city of Surrey, the fastest growing municipality in the country township of Langley and if you we don't have time to talk about why there's two Langleys but there it was a decision made 57 years ago it's a great community we've got great people a real cross-section seniors young families uh, a lot of uh, immigrant population from different parts of the world um, but you know the one thing that I love and why I'm so proud to to serve as mayor is we're a community that cares. Mm. We've got a lot of volunteers, people who really do want to help each other. Um, and that's what makes me so excited about what I'm doing because I'm able to fit into that mindset. And yet I'm also involved in a lot of regional issues uh, as it relates to transportation and, and a number of things, provincial issues, because you know we don't live in a bubble by ourselves. We live in a larger Metro Vancouver region. So we're a community that cares yeah. and that wants to make a difference. Uh, do you have room to grow physically in terms of the space that, uh, that uh, Langley... Not so much out, but definitely but up. But up, yeah. Densification is, you know, at the heart of uh, regional planning and right across the country. And is there any solution to the traffic jam every morning of people trying to get into Vancouver from Langley? That's the biggest challenge. Yeah. I mean, they're building a new bridge. Uh, there's lots of issues around the tolls that are going to go yeah. on the bridge, and I'm very much involved in that. But, you know, what we need to do is change people's behaviors. Yeah. We've got to get them on transit, but we have to have transit first. Any chance that you could have transit one day from Langley right into downtown Vancouver? Absolutely. Uh, we will have when the new Portman Bridge opens. We're going to have rapid buses. 
that will take people to the SkyTrain station and they'll be able to get downtown in 40 minutes. I'll bet you there'll be a lot of people happy to do that instead of getting in their car and sitting there for two hours. I hope so because that is what's going to change our community and change the region is people willing to make that decision to change the way they uh, live. Well, you're a man in, of influence. You're right where you should be and it's a delight to have you. Thanks for coming our way. Thank you. Peter Fassbender, the mayor of Langley, British Columbia. Back with more after this, friends.